Hello Ding Dongs, welcome back to Pro Cycling Auto 2020 stage number 15 of the Giro d'Italia A stage between Base Area Rivolto and Piancavaio 180 kilometers for a summit finish Finally we are back in the mountains in this Giro d'Italia heading for this final week uh, Still on the podium with James Knox um, I won't lie, Duke Nank is, uh, is enjoying the time on the Giro um, it didn't start well without Remco Venepol, uh, but in real life they are leading with Joe Almeida. At the time I'm recording this, Joe, I think, is still leading with Joe Almeida as well in his playthrough. And we're second with James Knox. So, isn't that glorious? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. And uh, we're going to try and maintain that second place, maybe go a bit higher. Uh, but if we were able, I mean, if we're able to do something uh, against Nibali, I'd, I'd, I would be lost for words. But yeah, 180 kilometers today. Let's go for Pian Cavallo. It's a plus one for James Knox. As uh, we start today's stage, it's a plus one for Almeida. It's a plus three for Fausto Masnada as well. All right. All right. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. James, it's, you, you better do something. Durant is going in, is going in a break. Um, do I want to go? I think the thing is, if I go with Masnada in the break, uh, I'm going to be lacking teammates. Alongside uh, James Knox. And I can't take that risk today. Today is too important for me. Yeah, no, you know what? We'll say goodbye to the, to the Mountain Jersey. We'll let De Rennes fight for it. He'll be in the break with Dario Cataldo, Giovanni Visconti, Domenico Pozzovivo, Valerio Conti, uh, Francesco Romano. No, Fabrizio Romano. Wait, no, that's, that's the, the Twitter guy. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Davide Villela, Teo Gigenart, Giovanni Carboni, and uh, the person. Led right now by Elia Viviani. Should let them go. Okay. It's going to be a tough stage. Uh, the climb of Plan Cavallo is average of 7 for 15 kilometers. A max just over 10%. So it's not very, very, um, I was going to say sloppy, but that definitely isn't the word. Uh, it's, it's not very steep. It's a very regular climb. Uh, regular based. However, I mean, it is... At the, end of the, at the end of the day, a mountain stage on the Giro, and we have Kroivak, we've got Lopez, we've got Nibali, I have James Knox. Alright, we're halfway through the stage, uh, we've started Di Forcella, Di Monterest. Breakaway, 8 minutes in the lead, as Thomas de Rent got dropped. Uh, Dario Cataldo, Valerio Conti, Tao Gaganart, and Domenico Pozzuivo going on their own. Uh, they could potentially try to go for the win. Uh, should the peloton stay at this rhythm, and should the breakaway stay at theirs? Um, they're gaining as there's less and less kilometers as we move forward as there's an acceleration Dario Cataldo going for the mountain points Domenico Potovivo cannot move Conti and uh, Giganot can Conti cannot anymore Giganot seems to be a bit uh, to be maybe a bit stronger uh, although he doesn't want to overtake Conti there he goes there goes the Englishman he is much much stronger than Conti Dario Cataldo to take the 32 points at the summit of Forcella di Monterest uh, and Tao is now done as well. Thomas Arendt is going to be able to get fourth place nonetheless. Uh, yeah, he should be fine to do so. Uh, there is quite a lot of points to be given. Um, Visconti should be the last one to get some. As Romano is gaining on the peloton. Uh, I mean, no, not anymore. Let's, let's be honest, not anymore. Uh, because uh, Jonathan Narvaez, stage winner in real life, has decided to increase the rhythm just a tad for the Team Ineos. The team Ineos. Not fighting anymore for the GCS, Gary Thomas is 10 minutes down, uh, but you never know, stage wins are also a thing, although they are pacing, knowing that they've got Teo in the leading group. Michael Matthews just crashed, alongside Ignatas Konovalova, a few riders are starting to crash, I think uh, Jonathan Dibben, Matthew Holmes as well, the two British riders of Lotus that have crashed. Uh, there is a group drop, but I'd expect them to come back rather soon, there we go. Um, five main group at the front is the five of... Uh, well, the, the five we saw earlier, Cataldo, Giganart, Conti, Visconti, no, sorry, Pozzuivo, my bad, and Thomas de Hens. Uh Whether one of these four, five riders will win is by now uh, clear. It will be a winner in the, the breakaway. The strongest might be between Cataldo and Tao Giganart. Could we see a win for Ineos uh, today at Di Pian Cavallo? Let's see. And as the breakaway starts Plan Cavallo, we already have some attacks. Tao Giganart 
will not win today's stage. Neither will Domenico Poduvo because Valerio Conti, De Gent and Cataldo are gone. Thomas De Gent and Cataldo will fight for the W today. The win will be between those two guys. The peloton has started. Zakarin is the first one to go and make a move. Vendrame follows. Interesting. Uh, we're going to increase the rhythm with uh, Almeida, Masnada and James Knox. James Knox still being protected by Mikel Frolli Honore. Uh, I think that might be Tanel Kangat. Yep, Tanel Kangat and Jack Hague attacking. Vendrame pacing for Tony Galopin. Tony, who we've seen, is in very good shape. We, we've seen on, uh, on this Euro, he's doing well. Balearini was meant to give uh, everyone water. He is struggling to do so, but at least he's managed to give water to James Knox, which is uh, the crucial element. 13 kilometers remaining in Pian Cavallo. As uh, De Rent and Cataldo are still in the lead, 25 seconds on Valor Conti. The rider from UE has not given up yet on his uh, potential chance of winning a Giro stage on home turf. Uh, Gegenhardt and Poduvo, though, cannot say the same as they are much, much further down. James Knox uh, is now going to be protected by Joe Almeida. Uh, and uh, I think Fasto Mastanda can try to take the wheel, maybe, of, uh, of Rames Knox. We'll see if that is a, a possibility. We'll just increase the rhythm just a, a, a slight bit to make sure that um, we can maintain our position in this leading group without using too much energy. All right. De Rent dropped, De Rent dropped Bardario Cataldo. And we've got, move, we've got moves in the peloton. We have some moves in the peloton. Tanel Kanget is gone. The gap with the breakaway is now just under four minutes and a half. Jakob Fulsang pacing, Miguel Henri pacing directly in his wheel, James Knox not exactly there. James Knox not exactly in second place and uh, I can't say that uh, he no, he's not giving me the, um, I don't know, the feeling that he's in, in good shape. We need to stay with, uh, with Wilco Kelderman here as uh, Joe Almeida just died. We only have Fausto Masnadalet and we're going to get dropped. James Knox is currently getting dropped by the peloton Vincenzo Nibay. Miguel Angel Lopez has attacked. And has dropped everyone. James Knox back in the group with Nibali. I can't follow. I can't follow. If I follow, I, if I follow, it is literally suicide. If I follow, I'm going to kill myself. Dario Cataldo on his own in the lead. Right now, I need to let Kroivaik pace. Miguel Angel Lopez is well and truly gone here. He is well and truly gone. He's going to take the stage win at this rhythm as well. Uh, wow. I'm yeah. I'm going to struggle. This is. This is not going to be a very good day at the office for James Knox and for Ducan and Quick Step. We're going to lose time on uh, Lopez. We're going to lose a position on, uh, in the GC as well. And Miguel Angel Lopez is now with the leaders. Domenico Pozzovivo is also here. Domenico with a very nice end of the climb. Pozzovivo against Lopez Cataldo for the win at Pian Cavallo. And it's going to be a Colombian win by the looks of it. Yes, it is. Miguel Angel Lopez wins ahead of Pozzovivo, Cataldo, Vincenzo Nibeli, De Gent. We've been dropped. We've been dropped by uh, the group de uh, Kroivike. Yeah, we we tried everything, uh, but nah, we just were, were, were lacking if just just a bit. We just lacked a bit. Um, we're going to lose 1 minute and 50 seconds on Miguel Angel Lopez. We have officially lost the Giro. We might not have lost the podium quite yet, though. I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed, um, but if I'm being honest, I don't know if I could have done any better. I don't know if I could have done any better. Uh, I'd, I didn't really make mistakes, did I? Just wasn't as strong as the others. Just wasn't as strong as the others. Uh, GC wise, we're still well, we're still in the podium when I was third. Uh, just 15 seconds ahead of Kroivag though. The gap is uh, not not great. It's not great. Vincenzo Nibali loses time on Lopez uh, and wins time on basically everyone else. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I think mountain-wise, De Rent is going to increase his lead. There we go. Points-wise, it's still Barony. Best is still me. Best team is still Astana. 152 is the time we've lost on Gonzalo Lopez today. That means we've lost 122 on Vincenzo Nibali and uh, 47 seconds. On Steven Kroivak. It was a, a stage for for the big dogs. It was a stage for the main riders. And sadly I just wasn't a part of them today. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get at least one decent day. Or at least a better day uh, in the future. And we'll try, we can try and recover some of the time we've lost today. 
Uh, I do have trust and uh, faith in, in James Knox for that. But yeah, today wasn't wasn't a day, wasn't our day. Uh, we everyone has a day off. Let's hope that it was this one. Um, the podium is still within reach, right? We we have five more stages. We can still end up on the podium, uh, but the cu the cushion we had uh, has massively reduced, uh, and we'll need to uh, stop making mistakes or stop losing time uh, on the upcoming stages. Otherwise, Steven Kovac will uh well won't hesitate to overtake me in the GC. May uh. Yeah, tomorrow stage, well, tomorrow, no, two days, I don't know. There might be a race day today, or tomorrow. Um, but Udine San, Fri San Daniele de Friuli is the upcoming stage of this Giro. 220 kilometers, it's hilly. Uh, not exactly a terrain that suits James Knox, but you never know. You never know. If he has a plus three, plus four, every, every terrain uh, would usually suit your rider. But we've entered the tough, ty the, the tough zone of this Giro. We then have the Madina di Campiglio, uh, the Laghi di Cancano. And Sestrier. There's three tough stage and a time trial. Can we bring a podium for James Knox and a podium for the Conan Quick Step? We'll see. We'll see. Done. That'll be it for today's episode of the Giro d'Italia. Uh, if you've enjoyed this one, then do leave a like down below. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, also, if you're new around here, then why not subscribing to the channel? Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. You can follow me on my respective social medias. The links are in the description down below. You can find my Twitter and my Instagram. But I shall see you in the very near future. My name has been Lako. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Jiro. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.